what's up everybody it's Amaya so today's video is going to be all about high-end products that are totally and completely 100% worth your money that are so good and totally just worth the splurge I think correct me if I'm wrong but I think that I've done a video like this in the past I'll link it down below if I have I can't quite remember I'm getting old, but it's been a long time. That was filmed quite a while ago if I did do it. So decided to do that again today. So if you guys are new around here or you haven't watched many of my videos or you don't know me personally, let me let you in on a little bit of a secret. I hate spending money. I am the couponer. I am the sale shopper. I am the clearance rack shopper. I am all of those things. I shop at TJ Maxx, I do thrift stores, garage sales, I am there. So for me to say something is worth spending a lot of money on when there's other things equivalent to it at a lower price range, that means something. So if I am using a high-end product, talking about a high-end product or purchasing a high-end product, that definitely means something because I just don't do that. So today I thought I would share 10 of my kind of current favorites with you. These are just kind of the ones that I've been using a lot recently that kind of popped into my head and I just thought would be fun to share with you. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, and yeah, without further ado, Let's hop right into it. I just think it's like really ironic that I'm talking about high-end makeup right now and the lip gloss that I'm wearing is literally from Essence. <laughs> is the Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss. I just think that's really insanely ironic. And that this is literally a $2 lip gloss that I'm wearing in a video talking about expensive things. <laughs> Great gloss, by the way. Definitely pick this up. I really like these Shine 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 glosses. They're really, really good. Okay. So the first high-end product that I just think is totally, totally worth your money, and I think I might have mentioned this in the video that I made before, and if I did, I'm sorry, I just have to mention them again. It is the Ofra Highlighters. This one is super beat up. Please excuse her, She's uh, she's been through a little bit. This is the Ofra Highlighter in Rodeo Drive. This is what it looks like. This is my second one. I'll show you my first one. You think this is beat up? This is my original Rodeo Drive. Hold on, let me open her. I have broken it, repressed it, broken it again, and now I just kind of kind of use her intermittently, let her hang out in there. But this is my newer version of Rodeo Drive uh, in their newer packaging, which is much more uh, safe. <laughs> but anyways, the Ofra highlighters are some of my most favorite highlighters in the entire world. I will purchase them at full price, at sale price, until I die because I love them so much. They are the best highlighters that I have found, like, period. I just don't think there's anything that compares to them on the market. Rodeo Drive is my number one favorite. I also have two others here, which are uh, ones that are loose. They're not in a compact. This is the Nikki Tutorials collab in the shade Glazed Donut, which is a really nice, light, um, kind of like whitish shade. It's very, very white, so this is going to be really good for those of you with fair skin tones, as you can see just how blinding that is and also very, very white. The other one that I have from the Nikki Tutorials um, collection is the uh, Glow Goals highlighter right here. And this one is definitely more of like a bronzy type of golden shade. Definitely more for tan to medium skin tones. It's a little bit dark for me right now, but in the summer it is perfection. And then Rodeo Drive, of course, is just a really nice um, light goldish color, kind of like an in-between of these two guys right here. If you were to kind of mix them together, you'd kind of get Rodeo Drive. It's just a nice light gold that I feel works for me all year round, whether I'm really fair or really tan. It just looks beautiful, and especially on my body. I have it on my shoulders and chest right now as well. Looks so good. Ofra highlighters are just so reflective and creamy and pigmented, but they're not sparkly. They're not glittery, chunky. They don't stand out on the skin. They don't accentuate pores any more than any kind of highlighter would. It's just one of those like things that you're just like, what are you? And how are you so good? Okay, so while we're on the topic of highlighters, let's just jump in to another highlighter product that is just so good and so small, but so worth the money. This is the ooh, very blinding Natasha Denona Mini Blush and Glow Palette. Uh, this little guy I think is like 25 bucks, which is literally like, can fit in the palm of my hand and you may be like 25 bucks, <laughs> no. But let me tell you, when's the last time you actually went through a full highlighter and a full blush 
in like a palette form. Never for me. I mean, the only highlighters that I've really gone through are the Ofra ones. I don't really go through highlighters. So I figured that it was a good value for me personally. And I really wanted to try out Natasha Denona's blush and highlighter formula because I've heard so many good things about them. And this is so beautiful. You can really tell that it's high quality. It has that very nice flush and glow to it. I'm actually wearing the blush on my cheeks today. I'm not sure how well you can see it because I don't have a ton of it on. But it is just a gorgeous, like, pinky, golden kind of blush. Like, there's definitely, like, a little bit of gold in there. Almost like a, not a duochrome, but there's definitely a gold tinge to it. And then the highlighter as well is very beautiful. They don't swatch well. I will say that. If you are going to go off of swatches, you're going to be like, girl... No, I can literally go to the drugstore and get something that looks better than that. And I will say yes, you can. But the formula of these is unlike anything else. You have to kind of layer these a little bit, but the effect is so beautiful that I don't mind. I would rather have something that I have to layer a little bit than something that is too pigmented and doesn't blend well. And honestly, I don't feel like I'm going to go through this palette entirely and honestly if I do I'll be glad then I got you know a good money's worth from it because I used it all up let's just keep rolling with this face palette theme because why not so the next one is a blush palette um, and it is the Alamad Cosmetics uh, Colorette blush trio girl I got this in a boxy charm so I did not actually purchase this this is in the shade fair light and I would totally purchase this because it is so Good. The blushes in here are stunning. It is one of the best blush palettes that I have ever used. I'm not a huge fan of blush palettes because I just feel like there's usually like one shade or maybe two shades that you really like. But there's always at least one shade in there that's just odd. You don't understand it and it's just like why are you here? Like it'll be a palette that has like all like light pinks and then there's one like red and you're like you know, I also really enjoy that they have different tones of this. They have a fair light one and they have a medium deep one, I think. Sometimes, like I said, you get blush palettes that you cannot use all the colors. They just don't work for your skin tone. So this is really good. You can kind of pick and choose which one you want. And the shades in here are so gorgeous. You have Castaway, which is like a light orange kind of shimmer. I don't know how to say that. Paraiso? Par Paris Paris I don't know. It's P-A-R-A-I-S-O that and it's just a really beautiful perfect kind of dusty neutral pink shade and then you have Scorcher which is beautiful it's like a deeper orange it looks on like first glance very similar to Castaway but it's definitely more of a deeper orange tone this is also a shimmer this one the middle one right here that I can't pronounce this one is like a matte but it's not a flat matte it's definitely like a creamy <sighs> skin like matte a satin type of shade and then these two definitely have like a nice glow shine to them. My favorite way to use this is to just take a brush and run it down the middle just like this, mix them all together and then pop them on my cheeks and you get the most gorgeous like peachy, corally, pinky, glowy oh, look to your face. It's so summery and so gorgeous. Just gives you such a nice healthy look and they wear a great amount of time. Like they, I will wear this all day no problem and it looks beautiful when I have a lot of makeup on when I have a little bit of makeup on it just works so well you also get a nice little mirror in here so you can use it it's nice and light I just love this so much I think it is so good and so worth your money okay let's go on to eyeshadow palettes just kind of staying in that palette realm the first one that I want to talk about are these little Huda Beauty um, obsessions palette they have so many shades of them now this is the warm brown one this is one of their like original shades I also have the smoky one but it it kind of shattered a little bit that one's gorgeous as well but this guy is so cute I just love that you get a full warm palette in a little tiny square just like this nice and compact you get a mirror there's no space wasted and you get a lot in here I mean you get nine shades 
nine shades in this little guy and they're not small shades they're decent sizes you have lots of different colors there's no colors in here that are kind of like repeating or that I think she could have switched out they're just a good price and they're beautiful okay so this next palette is definitely a more recent love because it is a newer product but I think it is so good and because it is holiday time and this is definitely a high demand item I definitely wanted to make sure to mention it this is the Tati Beauty volume one palette it. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love this. I love this so much. Oh, look at that mirror. Oh my god. Okay, so uh, here we go. This is what it looks like. And come on, like how stunning is this palette? This is the perfect palette. Even if you have like every palette, you still need this one. That's how I feel about it. It's just so beautiful and unique, yet wearable and uh, very just diverse. It's such a good palette. You have four different uh, types of shadows. You have matte, sequin, shimmer, glitter, which I think is really cool. And they're all like little color stories. So it makes it super easy to kind of you know, layer your look really easily. You can also, you know, mix and match, of course. I just think it's so gorgeous. I love these glitters up here. Oh my God, they're stunning. The shimmers are super creamy and nice. You just have everything to make a look just a nice everyday look a date night look a work look like literally anything you could think of you can make with this you know you can kind of take it in the more warm direction put throw in an orange you can throw in the purple you can just keep it you know brown with the black you, you can do so many different things and make so many different looks with just these you know six colors right here i just think it's really really unique and really beautiful the packaging is also super nice it's great quality great price so definitely splurge on this even if you're someone like me who has a lot of palettes already especially a lot of neutral or wearable tones of palettes you still will enjoy this so much. I love it. I'm gonna talk about the best mascara that I have ever tried ever. Um, I've talked about it a million times and you guys probably know already what I'm gonna say if you've watched my channel like more than, you know, twice. It is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I cannot live without this mascara now. It's insane. I love it so much. This is the third tube that I've gone through of it. I just purchased two more because it was recently on sale for $12.50. Usually goes on sale like once or twice a year and I'll just like stock up because this is typically 25 bucks, which I know that's a lot for a mascara, especially when there's so many drugstore mascaras out there. But I have not found a drugstore mascara that measures up to this. And when I can't find a cheaper alternative that at least comes like within, you know, a very close range of the higher end product, that's when I am definitely like, this is totally worth the splurge. And that's how I feel about this guy wholeheartedly. I love the brush on it. I think that's my favorite thing. It's just a nice, like kind of curved brush and the formula is beautiful. If you have, you know, one of those 20% off prestige brand Ulta coupons, or you're just looking to kind of splurge a little bit, $25, this guy, you will not regret it. Okay, I'm gonna talk about a product that I think you can only buy at Ulta now because they did reformulate this product, which I'm kind of sad about because I really like this version of the product. I'm sure the new reformulated version is good as well, but I believe you can still get this formula at Ulta, but maybe not. Even so, they have had it at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, so check it out there. But I have to mention it anyway, because this is the only concealer that I've ever tried that I think is worth it high end and it is the born this way naturally radiant concealer i have two shades here cool medium and medium and this was my go-to concealer throughout the summer because of how gorgeous it looks on the skin it looks so natural and beautiful without looking dewy or sticky i loved using this on days when i wasn't doing a ton of makeup i would just put it on all over my face blend it in and it made my skin look so gorgeous and skin like yet it stayed put well it didn't you know kind of run around everywhere it didn't get super super creasy it just looked so beautiful it felt very hydrating on the skin as well but not like I said not sticky or greasy or anything weird like that and like I said it just made my skin look like skin yet still covered everything up and just reiterating this is the naturally radiant born this way concealer they reformulated this and they're in like bigger tubes now it's a different formula but if you can still find the naturally radiant one so 
so so good i absolutely love it and i just had to mention it because it's the only concealer that i've ever found that i think is worth the high-end price tag it's so good all right next we have a highlighter and it is a liquid highlighter liquid highlighters are tough because it's one of those products that's either like really good or really bad it's kind of like one of those in between it's either body glitter or nice it's like there's no kind of middle range but this one just knocks it out of the park for so many different reasons and it is the anastasia liquid glow this is in the shade perla it's just a really nice like kind of like you know pale goldish shade kind of like if rodeo drive was a liquid highlighter that would be perla it's kind of how i feel it's just really really gorgeous you can see how beautiful and reflective it is it's just so nice there's no chunky glitter in here whatsoever it's pure reflection and my favorite thing about this is that it dries down and does not stay sticky so you can literally use this on your face especially if you're doing a more natural makeup look and it's not going to wear away and you don't have to put a powder over top of it which is huge for me i've never had a liquid highlighter like that this will dry down and stay like a regular highlighter yet it's liquid, so it's super easy to apply and it looks super natural and beautiful on the skin. I use this so much throughout the summer, just whenever I wanted a nice glow to the face, if I wasn't wearing a lot of makeup, I would, you know, put this on and then put some highlighter on and I was good to go. And it's just so gorgeous and it comes in a lot of different shades as well, which I really like. It's just so beautiful. And like I said, I've never had a liquid highlighter that dries down. Either you get dry down and it's not that great or you get sticky and glowy and this is the best of both worlds. Okay, speaking of glowy things, I gotta just give a shout out to MAC Fix Plus, you guys. I mean, at this point, like who has not at least tried MAC Fix Plus? I mean, I'm sure there's some of you guys out there, but for the most part, this is such a popular product, but I feel as though it's one of those things that as more and more products come out, people kind of maybe start to wonder, well, is MAC still worth it? Is there other things that I can get now? And honestly, I have not found anything that works like MAC Fix Plus does. I have tried lots of glowy sprays from the drugstore. I've tried lots of other high-end glowy sprays and skin mists and all those sorts of fun things. And nothing comes close to MAC Fix Plus. It's just, it has a very unique smell and look and feel. It's just so beautiful and when i say like unique smell i mean like in a good way it smells really good is what i'm trying to say and some people may say oh that's just like expensive water in a bottle but it's not there's a lot of different things in here and it it just makes your makeup look so beautiful and glowy and natural i'm wearing it today even though it's not a revolutionary new product don't forget about mac fix plus guys it is so good and totally worth the splurge the last product i have to mention today is one that i don't know that i've ever heard anybody talk about but it's really beautiful and it's it's just really good it is the hank and henry stick with it eyeliner in blickety black it's a long wear liquid eyeliner so i am definitely a pen eyeliner girl this is i think a technically a brush tip it's like one of those like Kat Von D, you know, tattoo liner where it looks it looks like a pen tip, but it's a brush. I don't know how those things work, but it is. And it is just so beautiful. It's definitely very black and very long wearing and so smooth. It doesn't run. It dries down matte. It looks gorgeous. I've never heard of this before. I got it in a boxy charm. And ever since then, I've just been in love with it. I mean, I don't even reach for any other eyeliner because this is all that I use. It just has a really nice tip to it. You're able to get that really nice wing or you can kind of, you know, just line your eye with a straight line if you're, you know, kind of trying to cover up a lash band or something like that. I've had this for a few months. I came in one of the summer boxes. I've had this for a while and it's not starting to wear out, dry out, nothing. I'm really impressed with it and I do use it quite a bit. It's definitely similar to the Kat Von D one. So if you are a Kat Von D tattoo liner fan, but you don't really want to support her anymore, I would definitely check this guy out. Out. Also, quick shout out to the lashes that I'm wearing right now. They are the Lily Lashes and Boxy Charm collaboration in the style CEO. I've never tried Lily Lashes before because I do not think that they are worth the money. I really like my Coco Lashes and my Ardell Lashes, my Kiss Lashes. I am fine with those. I don't need any expensive lashes, but you guys, these are stunning. I feel so pretty in them. I just love how they look on my eyes. I feel like they're one of those lashes that I can pop on with a super dramatic look, with a more, you know, toned down look. They're super comfy as well, which I really, really enjoy for, you know, a bigger style of lash. Uh, yeah, super pretty. So I guess these are worth the money if you can buy them. 
I'm not sure, but yeah, I really like them. So that is it for this video, you guys. Those are all the products. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments down below if there's any high-end products that you want to recommend that maybe I didn't mention. And if you like these products or maybe dislike them and you want to let everybody know, please comment that down below as well. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Mwah.